Welcome to Asian Noob everyone, and let's tackle one of the most originally criticized and polarizing aspects in the game, Arrows. This will be a very quick video showcasing the journey of what Arrows settled to be in Age of Empires 4 and what modders can do to further improve on the base game. Let's dive right in. Alright, before we begin, I'd like to give a quick summary. For those of you who weren't around during the trailers and the betas, the arrows in Age of Empires 4 were dreadful. They were comically oversized, shot from the knees of the archers and the heads of their steeds, and had an awful arc and animation. The developers have thankfully reacted to the outcry and fixed the arrows enough for it to not be a major talking point anymore. By no means are they perfect in the game currently, but they're good enough for most players to focus on other issues in the game right now. That said, one very polarizing topic in the game right now is the fact that arrows, simply put, do not miss. This means that once the arrow is off the bow of the archer, it's a guaranteed hit, even if the unit garrisons inside a building or changes his direction altogether. Some folks definitely do prefer this mechanic, but others mention that it not only takes away from flashy microplays with the archers, but also ruins the immersion, as missing arrows and having a few of them sink onto the battlefield adds to the ambiance and the immersion. Although I'm okay with the current iteration of the arrows, I definitely do prefer the way that Age of Empires 2 handled it. Without ballistics, archers mostly miss. With ballistics, archers sometimes miss, depending on the micro. Regardless, there's never guaranteed hits. Well, the good news is that projectiles in Age of Empires 4, and I'm talking about every possible projectile in the game, can be tweaked on a huge array of options. When we look into the Essence Editor, we can see that we can tweak its properties, speed, angle, arc, collisions with buildings, collisions with land, predictions, trajectory, and many more. There's a ton of stuff here, and thankfully, a lot of developer comments explaining what most of these do. Given that this is available to us right now, it didn't take long for someone to take a crack at tweaking errors in the game. Let's take a look at what Gabriel, the modder of Realistic Overhaul, was able to accomplish in his mod. Keep in mind that his mod changes the scale of units to buildings, makes walls stronger, and a few other things, but we'll ignore all of that as that's not the topic of the video. I'll only focus on his work on arrows. On a quick test with a longbow shooting at a mana turn without any mods, we can see that the arrow is overall not that bad, but we can very clearly see a lot of jarring movements mid-air, as the arrow still doesn't follow a smooth arc. And here is Gabriel's version. Honestly, to my eye, it's night and day to how much better the mod is. First of all, you'll realize that the arrow is smaller overall, which adds to selling to the realism a bit more. Second, it is slightly slower than the original as well. This allows the arrow to hang in the air more naturally compared to the jarring angles the original has to go through. And finally, the arc overall is just so much smoother that I could watch this all day. Here's a side by side for you to truly appreciate the difference between the two. Since the main argument for larger arrows was gameplay clarity, I personally believe that this doesn't sacrifice readability too much, though I do understand if some of you might think otherwise. Regardless, I'd happily sacrifice 5% readability and get these arrows in the game rather than what we have right now. That said, this is just the cosmetic side of things. The realistic overhaul mod also removes the homing features of the arrows. This means that the arrows now behave exactly like they would in Age of Empires 2 without ballistics. Take a look at me dodging arrows with a bit of micro so easily from distance. I also think that the missing arrows aesthetically look so much better as well. In a large scale battle, flying arrows with some hitting and some missing their targets is something that I've always liked and will continue to advocate for. I also do know that we can add a decay on the arrows so they don't disappear so quickly once they hit the ground as well. So one perfect arrow mod in the future could make all of those changes in one go. Now, obviously this mod is not playable in its current state. The reason for this is because we don't have a ballistics technology to research in the game, which means that the range units with bows are almost useless, especially towards the mid to late game. We will definitely need a fundamental balance change to all range units with bows as well as a ballistics technology added before we can play this mod in a balanced way. So if that's the case, why am I showing you this? Well, this basically confirms that the rumors regarding the engine and the technology of Age of Empires 4 couldn't handle it or whatever other excuses that were made at the time were all false. The engine has fantastic customizability and we can definitely figure out the sweet spot when it comes to arrows in the game. Moreover, this is Gabriel's first attempt, and he told me that he could further improve this as well. So, since we do know that this is doable, assuming the majority of the player base wants this change, this mod, alongside a balance change, could become the de facto playable settings for most players, which would put pressure to the developers to react. For example, the only reason why Tiny Trees in Age of Empires 2 are the de facto way of playing the game is due to a mod called Pussywood that was introduced and accepted by the community many years ago. Hence, if a lot of the players do the same with Arrows, Day-Night Cycle, and other great mods that may come up in the future after the Season 1 update, then we can collectively shape what the game can look like in the future. The developers are definitely paying attention to the mods that we are creating, at least for now, and if mods like this gets enough traction, these changes could be baked into the base game without the need for mods. 
Obviously, I could be in the minority here, and if that's the case, then this won't get much traction and will just be a niche mod that you use with your friends in a custom lobby. Only time will tell. And finally, I wanted to show you folks something that I didn't test in my previous lighting video. Although this has nothing to do with arrows, take a look at the torches that melee units use against buildings. They actually act as a light source, and there is some insane detail as well. Focus on the armor of the French knight as he moves the torch around. The level of detail in the lighting is insane, especially given that you're meant to play the game from a top-down view. So yes, this basically confirms that we can make so many cool mods that play around with lighting, since we now know that units can actually carry torches that do light up their surroundings. I just thought that it was cool and wanted to share with you folks. Well, that's all you need to know about modding arrows in Age of Empires 4. I'm very hopeful that some mods, be it this one or others in the future, will definitely impact the base game at some point, and push the developers to impact some of them directly into the game. I'd like to believe that arrows will be one of those, but as I said, I could be in the minority here. And if you've liked this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to not miss out on any future Age of Empires content. As always, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to try out the arrow mod when you get the chance, and see you all in the next one.